guys, we are off the casting couch and onto a new spot. We're gonna start going over keys from the last collection I picked up. We're gonna start with my main man, Thor. All right, so we're gonna go through a bunch of keys that came out of this collection for Journey Into Mystery and Thor. I'm gonna start with this one because he's my favorite and it was the first ones I found in the box. Um, there were two reasons I wanted to do these videos. Number one, collections like this still exist. They're out there. They're not easy to find. They're few and far between, but they are out there, okay? Second, if you're new to the game, you need to familiarize yourself with books like these, okay? These are the key issues on major titles for Marvel. Today is Marvel. We'll be going through DC and other stuff too. So you want to get used to seeing these books over and over again. You want to learn the keys, the numbers, the covers, everything about them, all right? We're going to start right here with Thor 126. This is actually the first book when it switches over from Journey into Mystery into Thor. This is the first Thor titled book, all right? Hopefully there's no glare and you can see that. Nice cover, Hercules, Thor. Uh, you know, it's not a super major expensive book, but it is a key. It's a key issue. Going on to the next one, this is uh, this book's got a lot of hype because the MCU and Thor Love and Thunder. This is What If, number 10. Uh, what If Jane Foster Had Found the Hammer of Thor. So about this book. Um, I don't want to put it up here because there's going to be a glare. The thing about this book is this is a perfect example of the market dictating the key. So Lady Thor, Thor, whatever you want to call her, Jane Foster. This isn't canon. The What If books aren't canon. Her first real appearance as Thor, I believe is Thor, God of Thunder 25. She picks up the hammer. Uh, this is from the 70s, man, right? 1978. Uh, God of Thunder is only a few years old, but this book's the one that's going through the roof. Yes, the other one has gone up in Thor number one with Jane Foster on the cover as Thor. It's climbing a little bit, a little bit, but this is the one that's going crazy. Um, is it really a key? I, you know, hey, the market dictates, okay? And the market is saying, this is the key to pick up. So keep an eye on this one. It's still climbing. Once you start seeing Jane Foster dressed as Thor, forget it. This is going to start going up and up and up and up and up. Again, what if number 10? Uh, another book because that's climbing because the MCU and speculation. Not that the last one's really speculation because we know she's coming. But this next one is. This is Thor 225. This is the first appearance of Fire Lord who becomes a herald of Galactus, which is, we, we all assume Galactus is coming. Silver Surfer, who is the first herald of Galactus, is coming. It's not out of the realm of possibilities that Fire Lord is coming as well. So this book is climbing steadily. And so far, everything I've showed you, nothing's going to CGC. There's only one book in this stack that I'm going to, that's going to CGC, and we're going to save it for the end. The next two books are important, again, because of the MCU. This is the first and second full appearance of him who becomes Adam Warlock. This is uh, Thor 165 and 166. Again, guys, become familiar with this if you're new to the game. I love this cover. This is a great book. Um, these are climbing. I think, and this is just me, I still think these are undervalued books, especially this one, the first full appearance. You have the Cocoon issue from Fantastic. There's two issues in Fantastic Four where he kind of cameos in the Cocoon, but this is the one that I feel is undervalued. Just me, just the way I feel. I don't dictate the market. It's just just something I think. So there's room for this book right here to grow, especially if they cast Adam Warlock with a big time AAA actor. Uh, you hear silly rumors like Keanu Reeves. I don't know if Keanu Reeves is gonna play Adam Warlock or not, but again, watch out for this book. I think there's room. I'm gonna take these two down and I'm gonna add two more quick ones. We're gonna switch over from Thor to Journey Into Mystery. And these first two are, what is this? So, uh, Journey into Mystery 114, first appearance of the Absorbing Man, and Journey into Mystery 118, first Destroyer. We've already seen him. He may show up again in the MCU, like in a cartoon or something, right? The What If cartoons. But uh, we haven't seen Absorbing Man yet. I don't know if we ever really will. But still, this is a nice old Thor book. This is Journey into Mystery. Uh, what do we say here? 114, 118. Again, villains. Nice keys. We're gonna take these two down and we're gonna add two more books. Now these aren't key issues as much as they're classic covers. And this is Journey's Mystery 109 and 112. You have the Hulk one. 
and the Magneto. All right, two Journey into Mystery books, classic covers, and again, all this stuff came in one collection. All right, this is all from one collection. We're gonna get rid of these two and add a couple more. First up, we're gonna add another spec book, but I think he's coming. This is Journey into Mystery, King Size Annual number one, first appearance of Hercules. Now the thing about this book, unfortunately, is the front and back covers are detached. And what I do at shows, at, well, because this will be sold, because I have one, I think a 6.0 for my personal collection, um, is I write on the back of the board. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's always helpful to write this in your own collections too. Uh, both covers detached because I'm gonna put this on the wall, I'm gonna price this accordingly, and uh, my buddy Juan, who usually works with me, he's not gonna know that this thing's detached, and if somebody asks, he's not gonna know. So you just put a little note on the back, and again, it's good for your personal collection too, so that's to, to do stuff like that. So that's uh, Journey to Mystery, King Size, right? King Size number one? King Size Annual number one, first appearance of Hercules, who is supposed to be coming to the MCU, whether it's Eternals, or something else, he's coming. And the other one I wanted to show off real quick is Journey into Mystery 102. This is actually the first appearance of Hela, who we have seen already, but I believe this is also, and you guys can fact check me, uh, the first appearance of Lady Sif um, comes near. It's a bummer though that the cover doesn't have Hela really on it, uh, but this is her first appearance. Now, the last book I wanted to show you. This book will be going to CGC. It's not even a Thor book. But it's probably, in my personal opinion, it's a top five cover, maybe even a top three of all Marvel, in my opinion. Not going Golden Age, but Silver. Uh, this is Silver Surfer number four. I love it. I have this book in an 8.0. Uh, this is not an 8.0. This is probably closer to a five. So this will go to CGC and it will be sold off. Um, but I do love this Beshema cover. And... Uh, I, it's just, I love it. I love it. But uh, guys, that's it for me. Um, that's it for the Thorn Journey into Mystery key video. We're going to be going over a whole lot more. This was just the first one. Guys, leave in the comments. Let me know if you like the new setup. Let me know what you think about all this stuff. And again, this all came in one collection and you haven't seen anything yet. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. I appreciate it. And I will see you later.